Hi there, happy Monday. How are you this week? I'm so glad you're here with me today. Thank you for joining me, especially those who've been here with me. I appreciate you being here yet again this week, especially on the 4th of July observance. Those of you are, who are here in the United States, um, today would be the day that we are observing our holiday. And so thank you, thank you for being here with me. And for those of you who are new, Thanks, I really appreciate you being here and I am so glad that you've joined us this week. I hope you enjoy it and I hope you come back next week as well. So, what are we doing this morning? So what I do on Monday mornings is I come to you with a weekly inspiration and that inspiration is coming from this book here. It's called Hugs, Daily Inspirations for Women and inside every single day um, there is a, a theme um, and then there's a Bible verse, uh, a description of the theme, and then there's a, um, a quote from a famous person. And sometimes you know who that person is, and sometimes if you're like me, you don't know who they are, but then you can go figure, Google it later on and figure out who they are. So um, with that, let me get started. So today is July 5th, and I'm going to read from July 5th um, in the book today. So the theme today is gentleness of spirit. Um, the Bible verse is Colossians 3.12. As those who have been chosen of God, holy and beloved, put on a heart of compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Sometimes it's difficult to be gentle. As fallible hum human beings, we're subject to the normal frustrations of daily life. And when we become frustrated, we're tempted to strike out, strike out in anger. But as Marie T. Freeman observed, when you strike out in anger, you strike out. Uh, sorry, a little baseball there. Uh, as long as you live, you will face countless opportunities to lose your temper over small, relatively insignificant events. A traffic jam, a spilled cup of coffee, an inconsiderate comment, a broken promise. When you're tempted to lose your temper over these inconveniences, don't. Turn away from the anger and turn instead to God. When you do, he will fill you with a loving spirit that will help you deal gently and generously with others. I need to come back to this one on a regular basis, just so you know, <laughs> uh, because I feel gentle and then the times that get me, I just kind of yeah, I'm sure some of you can relate as well. Anyway, the quote is from St. Francis de Sales. Um, nothing is as strong as gentleness, nothing so gentle as real strength. And on that note, I hope you take this a little time today after our inspiration and um, pray about it for the week. Um, and if you are celebrating with some friends and family today, I, I hope you are safe and healthy and everyone um, feels joy. And if you're out in the sun and tempers get high, um, just recall what we, we heard this morning about being gentle and turning to God when, when we need him. So know that I'm here with you in spirit this week as you go through the week and I will be back with you next Monday. Until then, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.